Hey guys, what's up again? This is your boy Alan, and uh, we're gonna watch another episode of Bar Rescue. To buy Downey, one of Philadelphia's most celebrated Irish pubs. And it's hated. Did you just pour a cocktail in a beer glass? We're an Irish pub that installed a brick wood burning pizza oven, which is working out wonderfully. Are there traditional Irish cuisines that's cooked in a wood fired oven? I'm actually pretty curious about that. In addition to the cameras that have been following Downey's staff, John's Bar Rescue Team has placed hidden cameras around the bar as Keith gets a first-hand account. Yes. I like how they say hidden cameras. I don't know if those are the cameras or it's just some clip, but those are not hidden cameras. Uh, you guys have for uh, Irish whiskey, we have Tolly, we have Jameson, Bushmills. Uh, we should have Powers. I believe they had four Irish whiskeys at Irish pub and there's a lot more to offer. To me, that's not good enough. That's like a pet peeve of mine. There's actually a lot of Irish pubs or whiskey bars that actually have very few selection. It might be like Jameson and what they said, like Powers, and then that's it. It's just like a college bar more than an Irish bar. It might have like the old like Irish like themes and stuff, but there's actually very few Irish bars that I've seen that carries a lot of Irish whiskey selection. But that is changing. Like um, there's a new spot in the mission that carries a lot of uh, Irish whiskeys. And I liked that like, a lot because I used to work at a Scotch whiskey place and we had more Irish whiskey than uh, a lot of these Irish bars. So it is changing. I know this episode is old, especially when it is like a more hip area. They should have more, uh, a bigger selection, but they didn't have Connemara though. So that's, so I think some of them do know what they're talking about. Hi, you want to order food? Yeah, I'm going to try the penne vodka. Did see a large section of, of pasta dishes and I just assumed that maybe it's something I should probably try for better or for worse, to figure out why they decided to put pasta on an Irish menu. <laughs> it's delicious. No, it's not. You used it before? Uh, I ordered some oysters for the first time from here. Yeah. We'll see how it all works out. Oh, you just did? I am incredibly nervous for you. This thing ain't shoved at all. It's like you're supposed to cut these things out of here. Oh. You guys all right? These things need to go back. Oh, OK. They're terrible. I'm not even going to pay for this. a moment. Dude, raw food is not something you want to mess with. After witnessing the owner walk away and ignore the complaints about the unappetizing oysters. I'll be right back, man, in a second. Keith decides to take a deeper look at Downey's and scope out the bathrooms. This is it. Napkins everywhere. Oh. It does smell incredibly weird back here. Bag over the sink, apparently it's out of order. No, no, no. Even a dive bar. A dive bar, in many cases, is like a you know a local hangout, and it's divey because it's um, you know it's not supposed to be stuck up or anything, but it doesn't give you an excuse to not make anything hygienic. You still have to clean things, especially toilets. They have to work. I've been to dive bars where there's so much. I mean, the graffiti stuff is fine for the decor, but I've been to some places where the sink wasn't even there. We come back like a week later, it's not fixed. Like, so you have all these patrons who are leaving the bathroom without even washing their hands. So, how was Downey? All right, well, <laughs> let's just say it's not the cleanest place, for sure. Uh, definitely a little bit of an odor going on. What does it smell like? Beer, maybe a little bit of throw up. <laughs> smell going on. I was fortunate enough not to order the oysters, like the guy next to me did. They looked very weird, almost plastic. Dominic came out. So did he care? He seemed to care more so that I, I feel like that he wanted to be more right. So that's pretty unacceptable that, you know, the guy on the right was just some random guest and I don't think he works in the restaurant industry, but even if he didn't, and the fact that he probably doesn't, to see that and already knew that those oysters were bad and you have this chef who's like arguing against it, like it's right there in your face. You can't tell somebody that this oyster is fresh when it's clearly not. Like, you can't just lie away out of these kind of things. You can get someone sick and possibly kill them. After two years, I found myself to do every managerial position, being a chef, being a GM, being a banquet manager, and being a daily manager. And it's not easy. It's tough. It's hard. It's not only tough, it's impossible. How are you going to deal with a customer complaint if the tickets are just piling up? Like, you have food to, that needs to be uh, expedited. And then you're outside talking about like a credit card uh, dispute. I'd like to just get a feeling for what's sure. going on here. Let's go okay. for a walk. Go ahead, you want to So what do we first? got? What's this? That's the bucket where we put the dirty paint. Oh! Like when finishing... I understand what you yeah. said. Just in 35 years, I've never seen anything like that before. 
How many days is this? This is from Saturday and Sunday. Wow. You don't have a trash room? Is this the trash this room? This is the trash room, yes. Who runs this place? I do. So you got to break down your boxes. That's unacceptable. Like, why would you waste such a big area with unbroken down boxes? Also, a lot of, um, you know, people collecting the garbage, they're not going to accept in that form. Look at the french fries sitting there, sitting here a few feet from a trash room with oysters sitting here and freaking shells. Come on! So that is also not acceptable. You cannot put food directly on a floor like that. It has to be at least six inches above ground. If it has food, the container cannot directly touch the floor like that. It doesn't cost money to clean. It doesn't cost money to throw trash away. It doesn't cost money to cover french fries sitting on the floor. It doesn't cost money to do this stuff, Dom. You have to manage the business, not have the business manage you. I would like to add something to that. Lawsuits do cost money. Like if you're gonna get people sick just to save a few seconds out of your schedule, then your like mentality is completely off. Is this thing properly fluid and stuff up here? Oh my God, I think you better go up there. What do you say? You see the mouse? Yeah. Oh. John Tever has just been here for like five minutes and he saw that mouse and that pizza oven is right on display. Like anyone could have saw that. They cannot dry unless they're on a mat that's got holes in it. If they've got any water in them, it will stay wet and that bacteria will stay on your glasses. Yeah. We're gonna fruit flies. Fruit, fruit flies. flies everywhere. Oh. Not many times I told them to how is that possible? I do not see a single clean sanitized utensil. Look at your hood. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff off. This kind of stuff is a cross contaminant for everything you're cooking. Grease will catch fire. It'll go right. So the kitchen staff is also leaving the, the kitchen like this when they leave. But he runs the kitchen. He should see this stuff. Do you know what the temperature is here? Up here is 40. Up here is about 41, 42. Let's check. I'm getting 52 degrees. Oh! That means it was 52 degrees for a day. Like, it hasn't even cooled down at all. We do what we need to do to get by. I believe that he can succeed. I think he is a good guy, and he, he has what it takes. He just doesn't want to do it. What do you have to say, Dom? They don't listen. Oh. Six months ago was last time we had This place is filthy, and it's the staff's fault. Now they're going to clean it up. Look at this. It's falling oh. apart. The oven it was so rusted, it just collapsed. Wow, that stove, it was, it broke just by them cleaning it. Chef Brian Duffy was America's top Irish chef for the last three years. And he worked here at Downey's 12 years ago in its heyday. I can think of nobody who's better equipped to turn this place around than Chef Brian Duffy. That's pretty cool. They got someone who actually worked there. Quesadilla, quick bite. I need a different cheese. It sucks. It's horrible. Quesadilla, that's not Irish, nor is it Italian. Even though Dominic is aware of the problem, he lets his staff fend for themselves and takes a phone call. The fact that a chef of his caliber doesn't oh. really have a desire to run his restaurant is scary to me. You are a chef. What is wrong with this guy? It's his money that's on the line here. Even though Dominic agreed to help the intoxicated patron, he steps aside and once again leaves his staff to handle the situation on their own while he takes another phone call. What is wrong with this guy? We have to get rid of your old philosophies. Your days of junk are over. If you're not proud of it, get rid of them. Let me do it. Oh, myself. he almost... <laughs> Dude, he almost... <sighs> Dude, the freaking bus almost hit it. Let me show you a couple of cool sciences. Look on the back cover for a minute. Take a look at the liquor on the bottom. $22 a shot. Nobody's going to buy that. Because there's a higher price there, people land in the middle. So that high price product makes us sell more medium price products. So that's actually true. I wouldn't really use that as a sales strategy. Like, you don't want to buy an expensive liquor just so people order something that's slightly under it. But it is observed that when you have a wine list, people generally do order something that's in the middle. Look at me. I'm proud to call you my friend. Me too. I look forward to coming back next time I'm in Philadelphia. You got it. Okay, good night, Tom. Thank you. 
Downers is a great Irish bar. Legends like this need to go on. If they run it like a great Irish bar, it'll be successful. So anyways, that was today's uh, episode for uh, Bartender's Watch Bar Rescue. If you enjoyed that, and uh, if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.